Alrighty, welcome back to our tablet quick start guide. This is Jason Seacrest and what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be talking about the pencil tool. I really want to go through just kind of the head to head comparison on why we would be using the pencil tool. I also want to go through kind of my favorite settings and options. And then I also want to do a tiny bit of troubleshooting just so you can start recognizing and almost self diagnosing any issues that might be popping up as you're doing any of the challenges workflows and or the new tutorials that are rolling out here. So what we want to do first is just kind of do a little bit of pencil tool 101 here, kind of just kind of explain what the pencil tool is really, really good for. And the main one is this is going to be the tablet equivalent of our pen tool. So if I'm looking for some really high end results, if I just want to be able to kind of mimic the pen tool, but just do that with the tablet or if I'm just looking for a different alternative to the pen tool, like if that's really, really frustrating, this could be a really great option for you. So this is going to be the easiest one to start practicing and mastering. And the reasons for that is we can mechanically add in the line variation. So we don't have to worry about pressure. It does become a little bit of more of a challenge as soon as you add on your own pressure. So this one's a really nice one to start with. That is why we have that in this kind of pecking order. So notice that we go pencil, then we move on to the blob brush. And this one is going to be uh, really, really easy for you to use. And I just want to kind of do a little bit of a why we do the pencil tool over, let's say, the blob brush, where we're going to start to add on pressure. So this one is going to be fantastic. Again, we are mechanically adding in the line variation. So we've got all of our brushes, we've got our width profiles, we even have the width tool. So we can really have a, a whole lot of control. And usually whenever I'm talking about pressure, I'm not necessarily saying, hey, this is so much faster. Usually it is a little bit more of a design decision. Like I want something that looks a little bit more hand-drawn. I'm looking to mimic some brush pens. I might want a little bit more of a vintage style where it is going to look much more hand-drawn, which is just my nice way of saying it's going to have some imperfections in there. Usually it takes a little bit more practice to master. So I know the tablet is something that is probably bright and shiny and new, and you've got all this pressure sensitivity and people want to use it. <laughs> but a lot of the times the, the pencil tool is going to be the one that is a little bit easier for you to actually go through. So let's go through all of these settings. Now, notice that we're just kind of going through pecking order. I'm going to go from the top down, talk about the settings. What is it really doing? And then we're going to go through and practice. So right underneath this video, you're going to notice all of the pencil tool tutorials and challenges and workflows that we're rolling out uh, that are going to be using this tool so we can actually practice all of these. So the first one is going to be the fidelity setting. Now, notice I have this one cranked all the way up to smooth. So not only is it going to obviously smooth it, but it's actually going to remove a crazy amount of anchors. So if I have that down to accurate, it drops down so many anchors, it's absolutely insane. So be aware of all that sensitivity that I just talked about. That is great when you're doing drawings or digital paintings. It's not great if you're trying to control your anchor points. So it is going to remove that. The little bonus here is it's going to cut away from a lot of just extra editing time. So I don't have to come back over every line and do like the smooth tool. I don't have to do this control undo or control Z, command Z every single time I draw a line where I have to draw every single line three, four times to actually get it down right. So it is going to save a silly amount of time. So I really like that setting. So if I hold down my alt key while I'm on my pencil tool, I can smooth things out. Now, if I was doing like a head to head comparison on the smooth tool compared to just the fidelity setting, the fidelity setting is awesome. Like it really, really does a nice job cleaning things up and really doing a nice job smoothing. The smooth tool does a mediocre job <laughs> smoothing things out. But I do want to point that out that if you hold down the alt key, though, you can get to the smooth. In a later tutorial, I'm actually going to show you just I just turn mine off and then I have my own personal keyboard shortcut straight to the smooth tool. So I don't want you to rely too heavily on that smooth tool. I'd much rather you use the fidelity setting and just crank that up. And I think you're going to get some really, really nice results. Again, we're trying to compete with the pen tool. So I want to have as clean a line as possible. So I have less anchors. And then that's actually going to make it a lot faster as we're going down and actually doing all of this. All right, let's just take a quick look at that fill new pencil strokes. Now, there's really two reasons we would have that on or off. The first one is if it notice that it just says fill new pencil strokes. Most of the time when we're drawing in our challenges, our tutorials, and, or just using the pencil tool, 
most of the time I'm drawing it as a stroke. So I don't even have on a fill. So I can actually leave that on because I don't have a fill. In most tutorials though, you'll actually see me do a little bit of troubleshooting already, kind of planning things out because the, the default setting on Illustrator is a black stroke and a white fill. And I already know most people are gonna kind of skip over that and or miss it. So I will usually tell you to turn off that fill new pencil strokes in a lot of the tutorials, just because I'm already prepping that the potential of you guys missing or not seeing the fill is pretty high. So if we're just drawing in strokes, you can actually just turn that off. So let's do the, the major ones. And this is gonna be how these are gonna be playing out, especially as you are drawing. And these are my kind of my, my favorite and go-tos. And these are gonna be saving us a lot of time in the process. So the first one is that keep selected as well as that edit selected paths these really go well together. So the first one is that keep selected. Now let's go down to the bottom. Notice there's that little within slider. That one's really irritating. So I almost just want you to move it all the way down just so you're not getting any headaches. It's doing this little auto region, like it's almost auto joining, auto editing. It's almost auto re like redrawing and your lines are gonna bounce like crazy and it just gets really, really frustrating. So I almost just tell you to turn that one all the way down and then you don't necessarily have to worry about it. So those are kind of my favorite settings right now. Uh, I know this is kind of a different type of a video. The main thing that we want to do is just go through some of those settings. I just want you to kind of see how it's going to relate. And then we can actually go through and actually practice these out.